NYX Shane Dawson Collab Lip Liquid Lipstick in this shade Shane. You'll get everything that originally came with it for this listing. Feel free to ask questions. This is the shade I Gotta Go from the Shane X Jeffree Star collab. You will get everything it originally came with. The box, the lipstick, everything. Feel free to send me a message and ask me questions about this. This is the Lip Ammunition in Celebrity Skin. I've literally used it twice and then this first time I've touched it in like two months, three months since I got my Shane stuff. So you'll get everything here. I will scrape off the top layer and sanitize it before I ship it out. This is the shade Crocodile Tears. I got this when I got my Shane stuff. I used it with a liner brush only to do makeup looks for like Christmas and stuff. So it's never been used on my mouth. I've always put it in a palette and used it. You'll get everything it originally came with. This is the shade Poinsettia. I got this to do Christmas looks with as well. I mainly just put it on a palette and used a liner brush to do detail work. I did a fireplace with this red and a Christmas tree with that green. You'll get everything that it came with. Uh, I got this with the Shane launch, so it's only a couple months old. It is a beautiful shade though. It's a metallic red. I bought this palette at TJ Maxx few months back. It's, I'm guessing the new formula of it. This was right before they took it off their website. The end of the year. And the only shade that um, has issue is this one here. Uh, I accidentally dropped the palette and that one over there and it crumbled a little bit but I repressed it. Get everything so the marks on here that you see are from me spraying it with alcohol. I dropped this palette about a week and a half ago. And so I put alcohol in it and repressed them. As you can see, they've been repressed. But the alcohol is what made this these like marks on the palette. This is the ABH Aurora palette. I bought these at Walmart about a month and a half ago. I have used this twice and it is really, really thick. I have super dry skin. This I don't like on my face and I've washed my face with this like two or three times and um, it burns my skin. And right now at Walmart you can't return anything that's HBA so I'm just going to um, list it on here and hopefully you guys will want it. This is brand new, never been used. I was did a pickup order at Walmart last Tuesday and they substituted this instead of the aluminum free one and this does have aluminum in it I can't use aluminum deodorants anymore so I am selling it since I can't return it to Walmart and yeah hopefully somebody wants it so I bought this from Ulta a little while back and I ended up getting another palette that was almost identical to this. I did a giveaway on my YouTube channel for it. Feel free to ask questions. This is an all matte eyeshadow palette. Alright, this actually does not belong in here. Um, so this is going to be a different price, but because if you look at it actually has a spot for an eye cream and then, then it had a collagen face mask. So this is brand new. This was used twice. This one is a little over half full. And this is about three quarters of the way full. Well, the problem is these are what I still have to list. These are listed. These are what I'm working on. 
This is the case that they're in. And look what I discovered. It's not flipping empty. So I still have all of these freaking designs in here. And I'm in the middle of listing tongue rings. And I don't know how many more in here are matching to what I already have done. I am so mad. I was like, this doesn't seem like all my tongue rings. Where's the metal ones? Where's the UV acrylic ones? I can't remember where I put them. I'm like, oh, son of a bitch. Hey guys, it's not even 7.30 here and I've already got my makeup on, filmed a video. And so yeah, um, it's a Bobby's little Bobby's. I used the Nomad Cosmetics there's a little bit of sun right there. You can see it. This is the... Hello? <laughs> the um, Antilles palette. It's the one that has blues and pinks and purples and um, like peachy orange shades and then one row of like golden shades, which is what this eye is. That's the entire row on one eye. Um, I figured I'd walk out here. I've got something to stick in the mailbox. Anyways, we keep getting mail for people like that don't live here. So I've put their mail back in the mailbox several times and we keep getting it again. So I wrote on the mail, not here, return to sender. And um, I think it just got rained on or raindrop. Here's the one eye. I did another sunset eye, but I used different colors this time. And then here's that one row of yellows. So, yeah. I even left my hair down while I was filming, which for me is unusual because I hate it when my hair is down and touching me. And it's like tickled my face. And, and of course, right after I put my mascara on, I sneezed. Yeah. I had black mascara like all the way down to here on both sides. I tried to fix it as best I could, but I'm sure there's still funky marks. Oh look, a little patch of sun. There we go. Peeking, peeking over the house. So, today's makeup, well at least the look for right now. I have another video idea I'm going to go film. Um, I've been up since midnight. And I got a bunch of stuff listed on Depop. And yeah, I probably will pass out sometime during the day today. Um, I still need to do my science serum video. Uh, I will probably do that when I wash this off. And I might do a whole other makeup look this afternoon. Who knows? So anyways, I will see you guys later. Bye. What you doing out here in the front yard, pretty boy? Huh? Hi. You got enough to eat in the front yard? Hmm? There's a whole lot out here. You're so tiny compared to my snake. You're okay, you can go if you like. He's a pretty little corn snake. Technically a yellow rat snake, but you know. Just walking through the front yard and saw him. And yes, it's a him. Look at the tail. I'm not gonna step on you, I promise. Hey 
Okay guys, I'm going to be revamping my 16 gauge body jewelry. I have different types, different lengths. Um, these are all 16 gauge. I wanted to separate all of these out. Um, and what I'm going to be doing is you will pick the, you know, whatever barbell size that you want for your body jewelry. And then um, the pictures that you see will be, you know, for whatever the actual design is. So I've got... Hey guys, it is Rebecca here. Um, as you can see, I've got a bunch of different types of 16 gauge body jewelry. I've got different lengths of things as well. What you're gonna be seeing um, as I revamp all of my 16 gauge body jewelry is you're gonna be able to pick a barbell and then um, the pictures that you see will be for the actual design of the top, whether it's a three millimeter, four millimeter, um, a three millimeter spike or whatever. So 